Hi everyone, what's up? Josh here from Alternative Brewing and with me is the Varia Evo Hybrid Coffee Grinder. Hybrid because it is available to switch between grinding manually and grinding hands-free and electric. Let's unbox this now and see what we get inside. Now you might be wondering, what sets this grinder apart from all the rest? And it might come as no surprise that not all grinders are created equal. Some lack versatility, others compromise on durability or grind consistency, and the Varia Evo Hybrid is here to change all of that. Now, as you can see, it comes with its own EVA hard carry case, great for travel. Inside, you'll find a brush, a crank handle. This has a soft covering over it when unpackaging it, if you were wondering. And then the Evo grinder itself, all well contained. This is made from a high quality aluminium construction. And as with all Varia products, I find there is a precision focused design. The Evo comes apart in three here, with the top being that motor. Then you have the grinder body housing the burrs, and then the grinds catcher magnetically attached to this. Let's throw the motor on charge and we'll discuss some of the best known features of the Varia Evo Hybrid. The motor has a 7.4 volt, 800 milliamp hour battery. That's rechargeable using a USB-C charging cable. It has a 40 watt power output with additionally welcomed features that include an auto stop function. So you can turn this grinder on and walk away. With it unsupervised, it will turn off automatically once all the beans have passed through the burrs as well as an over torque protection. For example, if you get a rock in your dose, the motor will switch off automatically rather than braking. Taking a look at the body of the grinder, this has a 30 to 35 gram bean capacity and the motor screws down nice and flush to the body in an anti-clockwise direction. Or if you're using the manual crank arm, then this is attached magnetically to the top of the drive shaft. The Evo burrs are the very same 38mm conical burrs used in the Varia BS3 grinder, a 6-core stainless steel supernova burr set capable of grinding out for all brewing methods, which we'll explore in just a moment. Used in conjunction with the motor, the burrs turn at 80 RPM, which is quite slow and there are certainly benefits to slow moving burrs. However, I haven't had any issues so far with stalling or such when grinding espresso on a lighter roasted bean. It's more the case that you do end up using more of that stored energy in the battery of the motor as it does require more time and torque to complete grinding a lighter roasted bean. Moving down to the grind adjustment. The Evo has 144 stepped grind adjustments and it is stepped yet each click is only 10 microns in size. So you're not compromising on precision or accuracy with these stepped adjustments. And you adjust the grind size by keeping the grinds catcher on and twisting it clockwise or anti-clockwise. And this has the sight on it with the scale found on the body. Now the grinder is calibrated out of the box for zero calibration and it is quite easy to adjust with audible clicks each adjustment. The grind catcher, this holds the full capacity of the grinder and it is attached via magnets to the body of the grinder. Now this can only go on one way as there are two differently sized tabs on the grind's catcher and it won't go on any other way to the body. Just align both of these tabs up to the inside of the grind chamber and it will pop on or tilt off quite easily. Another bonus to the grind's catcher is it fits perfectly to a 58 millimeter portafilter. Varia offer a great grind size table at the back of the box for the Evo. However, my personal results with grinding, I've found the ideal espresso grind to be set at around 25 to 50, depending on roast style and age of the beans. And my filter coffees, mainly AeroPress or V60, have been from a full rotation for a single cup to a full rotation plus 20 or plus 40 for two or more cups of filter coffee. All right, so this is the part in the video where we grind out a full dose with the grinder in real time. And since there are two ways to use this grinder, I might start with manually first, and I've got a 20 gram dose for each. I've set the grinder at 30, which is your average espresso setting. Let's uh, get this going and we'll start the clock. There's always one bean.
Start the clock. Automatic should be faster, right? I think I've given him enough of a head start. We got there in the end. It's gonna turn off automatically, I know that. There we go. Well, perhaps that took a little bit longer because I was definitely probably rotating. Definitely probably. I was definitely rotating the handle a little bit faster than 80 RPM. Sweet. All good. And the difference between the grinds it's hardly noticeable. Let's now take a look at the performance comparison. Tasting espressos across three grinders. I'm going to use the Varia Evo Hybrid with its motor. The Varia VS3 grinder, so similar burrs, but uh, definitely a bigger motor on that one. And I've also got the Easy Presso K Ultra which is around the same price point as the Evo, and it is a good point for being a portable espresso grinder. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, I don't have any of the obvious comparisons in a portable electric grinder category, notably from Time More and another from Kosiana. So I'll certainly have to loop back around for that style of comparison. But uh, let's go back out here, pull a few shots, and we'll taste the difference. Let's go. All right, three espressos down, one on the Easy Presso K Ultra, one on the Varia BS3 grinder, and one on the Varia Evo Hybrid. So right here we have three espressos made, one on each of the grinders, and I have no idea which one's which, but I'm gonna taste each espresso now one by one, come back so I can see the comparison across all three and let you know what I think, and then we can have a reveal at the end as to which espresso is which grinder. Well, as it turns out, I didn't spend too much time on that last espresso. That one really just jumped out at me. So that's just, I had a few sips of that. I had a few more sips of the other two, but that last espresso I tasted really jumped to the front of the line, which I've placed down here. That was, that was everything. That was just like juicy, sweet, acidity, sweetness, a full set of kind of flavor notes with body carrying it through. Um, there was richness to it, some texture to the espresso. So it kind of had all those hallmarks of a really enjoyable espresso. So I'll put that right to the front. This middle one here, I would say, has some of the unique characters that this first one has. Definitely the flavor notes and certainly some body and texture to it, which is really nice. The sweetness and the acidity is just mutant just a tiny bit so it's not just leaping forward as much as the first uh, espresso is so i enjoyed that quite a lot the third espresso which for me was a little bit more lighter bodied a lot fruitier kind of like sweetness and acidity forward and if i was to just put my hunch on this right now i feel like this third cup is the easy presto coffee because it's the one that is different to the other two these two seem similar the first cup just has a lot more of everything in it whereas the second cup is just that little bit more muted 
just in the acidity and the sweetness. So they both share a very good texture, very good body, and very good length in the coffee and the flavor notes, but uh, that middle cup just doesn't quite have the same acidity and sweetness, whereas this third cup is something different again. It doesn't have any body, it's quite thin and light, uh, but it definitely has a punchy acidity and sweetness, which is quite well balanced. But I think what it's doing to the coffee is that it is kind of putting all that sweetness into the city forward and it, you're losing some of those flavor notes and texture in the coffee as it lingers through the palate. It's quite clean, which is nice, but on the other side, you know, everything's up front and it doesn't leave much at the end of the flavor notes. So I would say, just as a guess, because, you know, I like to guess right now, I would say my favorite cup is the VS3, to be honest, uh, just probably because it is a automatic grinder. Uh, and then my third cup, just because it's using the same burrs, different motors, but same burrs, I would say the middle cup is the hybrid Evo from Varia and the third cup. I'm pretty strong on this. I reckon this is the easy presso, but now that I'm thinking about it, it might even just be the hybrid because because of the 80 RPMs. I'm just throwing out that for a plan B. It might be the 80 RPM low speed burrs on the Varia, but I'd be quite surprised. So I went red is Easy Presso, white is the Varia VS3, and blue is the Evo Hybrid. Red, white, and blue. So uh, I'll take the first cup, my favorite cup first. White. Red, white. So it is the Varia VS3, awesome. Red, all right, so that's white. The Varia VS3 is white. Blue, the hybrid Evo, which I was correct about, and this would be the red. So that's the easy presto. So now I could almost make the jump and say, I can see how the flavor notes in the second cup, the hybrid Evo, have been that little bit muted due to the lower RPM. So the Hybrid Evo is at 80 RPM, whereas the Varia VS3, touching right here behind me, is at 190. So it's double the RPM, and I think that's just adding a little bit more body and texture to the espresso. And it certainly tastes that straight off the bat. Interesting stuff. Let's do a quick recap. The Varia Evo has hybrid functionality using either auto or manual grinding. It has precision grind control for all brewing methods, and it remains fairly compact for an electric grinder, only weighing 1.24 kilograms. And I know some hand grinders that almost weigh that and they're just manual grinders. It also comes with this neat carry bag. However, you could probably just travel with the Evo without this bag, as this can be a bit bulky in your travel bag. And the grinder, I personally think, is an absolute steal at its price point as well. As you imagine, it being an electric grinder, it uses burrs that a grinder almost twice the price and size uses. So I think the package is well presented and hits the mark on several aspects. Yet, as much as I do love singing the praises of the Varia Evo Hybrid, it wouldn't be a balance to review without addressing some of its limitations. One aspect worth mentioning is that semi-reliance on the available motor, which is the grinder's biggest feature. This requires charging via a power outlet. So if you are planning an extended trip away from home into a remote off the grid area and anticipate frequent grinding, you may find yourself needing to bring along the hand crank as backup. As while the battery does offer a decent amount of usage, for me when I went away, I think it was around 12 espressos over several days, I did notice there was a decline in power and speed as the battery level decreased. And I put that down to it being only an 800 milliamp hour capacity battery. Additionally, like many electric grinders, the Vari Evo can generate some static during grinding, leading to a bit of a mess when removing the grinds catcher. However, a simple tap or two on the side of the body should dislodge any clinging grounds, restoring order to your brewing routine. Lastly, some users might find it a slight inconvenient that the grind adjustment can be accidentally changed when either removing the motor with your other hand or when twisting the grinds catcher to take it off. It is a small detail, it's good to keep in mind. So in summary, the Varia Evo could be called a game changer in the realm of portable coffee grinders, where exceptional performance meets its hybrid functionality. 
And it's in this combo that I think sets it apart from its competition. Do I recommend the Varia Evo hybrid coffee grinder, which is a mouthful? Absolutely. Yes, despite its limitations, the benefits far outweigh any of its drawbacks. And when you consider its value for money, it's a no-brainer for anyone who has their sights on a grinder that ticks both portability, precision, and electric grinding. So for more information on the Varia Evo and where to purchase one, be sure to check out the links in the description down below. And if you've already experienced the magic of the Varia Evo, I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences again in the comments section. And as always, thank you so much for joining me to the end of this coffee adventure. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't, for hit, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, happy brewing.